Yes, ma'am. I have two questions. It's um, Ellen with the Chronicle. Uh, what made you change your mind from last year? And also, how are the apps going to be managed in the store? Um, in terms of, is there is there a waiting period before they're actually available to customers, or are they going to automatically be available once I develop it, once someone develops it? Uh, so the first part, change our mind from last year. Well, we all at Apple change our minds a lot, I guess. Uh, from time to time, but I, I don't really know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, when you when you were talking about only allowing web applications, going from web to SDK. Oh, I see. Um, you know, I think the web applications have worked really well for what they do, but uh, developers did give us the feedback that they wanted to do even more. That they thought this 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 platform that we created was revolutionary, and they really wanted in. And we heard that, and we've been working on this. To create an SDK is a lot of work, because once you give it to developers, you want to live with it for the next uh, 20 years, right? And you want them to be able to, you want to be able to evolve what's underneath it without changing the APIs and breaking their apps. So we've done, I think Scott and his team have done just a masterful job uh, of creating a, a really elegant, pristine API. Apple's very good at this. It's done it a few times before. And uh, I, think, uh, I think we've got something that's, that's really great. Yeah. So. I mean, the attention to detail for the SDK has been unbelievable. I and mean, the team has, has just worked tirelessly, uh, literally going through single API calls you know, for 10 iterations to make sure every single one is perfect. And I mean, it's a huge team that, that was really concentrated on that. And everyone cares deeply about it. And so what we have here is a set of APIs that we can live with and can do the kind of things that you saw the third party developers do in two weeks today. Because it's really powerful, but we care deeply about just nailing those APIs and getting them just right. On, on the second part, I'll, I'll address that. We have actually built a brand new program. This iPhone developer program is a brand new program specifically designed for this entire process we've described today. And while Scott's team's been really hard at work on building this SDK, our developer relations team in parallel has been hard at work working with the iTunes store team to build a new process for developers to electronically submit and securely submit their applications, get them put into the store in a very quick, efficient process. So we've built up a whole new process just to do that, and I think, um, I think the developers will be really pleased with how it all works. 